promised today uh, another video. I started this uh, video vlog one week ago. My goal was to inspire and tell stories to all the people that follow my work. Uh, today is Sunday. Uh, let me see. Today is Sunday, June 7th. I'm in Orlando right now. We have this family trip. We have some family from Colombia coming. So today I decided not to go to the parks and just try to do a little bit of photos around and shoot this video for you guys. It's funny because this afternoon uh, I follow this guy, uh, Casey Neistat. He's a blog, video vlogger and he does some amazing videos as well. He's one of the inspirations for me to do this video and the same thing I want to inspire other people uh, in the world of, of photography and in general and he was talking about the reason uh, on doing this vlog and it's very clear this push you to to shoot to to be creative to create things um, my memory just it's full so I'm back so I was telling about the reasons why I'm doing this vlog. You know, I was thinking while I was changing the car. First of all, because I want to inspire people. Second, because it's a way for me to push, to push me to do things, to start creating more, more of my personal work. The third reason is because I always been behind the camera and it's been hard for me to you know, to talk in front of the camera, to, to teach. And this is like an exercise for me to learn that. Uh, and I think, I'm, I, I don't know, for me, it's like flowing right now. That makes me really, really happy. And the fourth reason, I wanna just tell the stories about, uh, about all the shoots. Uh, maybe I'm gonna start showing footage of behind the scenes of past shoots. For example, this morning I went to downtown Disney and you know I was doing time lapse around downtown Disney. And I was sitting down very relaxed. There was a security guy that came to me uh, with a cop next to him. Uh, he was like, okay, we're seeing some irregular activity here. You're with this camera, you're pointing to the Cirque du Soleil. And it's weird for us, you know, there, as you can see, we just saw you on, you know, look at this camera, look at this camera, look at this camera. Everybody's watching you right now. So what is it that you're doing right now? I'm like, you know, I'm just trying to explain him that uh, I'm a photographer and that I'm doing uh, this video. I told him that I was doing the uh, video for, for my family, that I want to do like some shots of the clouds moving and getting a little bit of the of the the scenario he was like okay so can i see your license i was like okay oh good and yeah you know i don't have a problem i'm not doing anything illegal um but here there's cameras everywhere and after that uh he got my license he checked everything i show him my personal business card and he was, okay, yeah, no, no, that's not a problem. We just want to check in with you. What is it that you're doing? And after that, I was followed by all the security guys. They were passing in front of me all the time. Like, until I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm leaving this because it's kind of uh, overwhelming to have this, all these people watching you. I'm not doing anything wrong, but you know, I got my shots and there you go. Play this record as frequently as possible. So, another story that uh, I want to put on this video is uh, last month I flew to New York uh, for two weeks uh, with my portfolio. I'm gonna show you guys my portfolio soon. I just print uh, an 11 by 14 
beautiful portfolio. I don't know, I think it's, it's gorgeous. Uh, and I took the portfolio to New York, had a couple of meetings with the magazines and advertising agencies. And the following video is part of what I was doing in New York. Sometimes when I go to New York, I, I try to, to shoot as much as I can. I did like three, three shoots over there. I, I was passing by a location and I saw this like kind of urban uh, basketball court on the Lower East Side and I think it was really, really cool. And I wanted to shoot something very like kind of fashion, you know, I had the, somebody that was supposed to do the styling for me. Uh, she never shop, so that was not a problem for me. I just went, got some stuff. Uh, I got the makeup artist I called, uh, Wilhelmina Malls, New York, and they gave me two good girls. And I went there with a makeup artist. And you know, sometimes you, you have to just risk it. You know, if you don't have a full team, you know, assistance and you just do it, you know, because other, otherwise you, you're gonna be relying on other people. And in this case, uh, we were the two girls, the makeup artists, hair stylist with me, and we just did a couple of images. And sometimes on those cases, you get really, really nice shots. So, Check out this video and you're gonna see the setup. It's very, very basic, but I think we did really good. Check it out. Another beautiful day in New York City. I'm heading to one store just to find some, some stuff for a photo shoot that I'm gonna have later on today. It's kind of a, an urban chic. I would say a little bit more like teenager style. Uh, oops, I think they closed the store. So I don't know where the hell they, they went. I'm running kind of late. Uh, they shoot it at 3 p.m. It's already 2. So gonna be it's gonna be a rush to to get some stuff it's crazy okay I just purchased the all the stuff here um, I think it's gonna be really amazing I got some ideas original stuff
tell me. You're shy? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Wait, are you guys shy? shy? You're so cute. You look like you could be in a shoe. Oh, no. <laughs> this. Oh, Wait, are you guys? I look like a baby prostitute. I'm from Miami. Damn. Yeah. What about you guys? Colombia, yeah. Texas. I'm from Colombia. If you Columbia. like this video, um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Okay? Take care. Bye.